Good afternoon. We are in Sturgis Library in Barnstable Village, and this is the Lothrop Room. Beside me is the Lothrop Bible, which John Lothrop brought to the village of Barnstable in 1639 when he came with his followers from Situate, Massachusetts, after they had spent a few years there after emigrating from England. John Lothrop was a minister and part of the congregational tradition. His congregation was originally founded by Henry Jacob in 1616, and then he became the minister after that. The Bible that you see here is from 1605, and John Lothrop was reading the Bible one night at devotions in his room on the ship, the Griffin, as he came over to the New World and so hot wax spilled on it. And the story goes that he was then able to repair the pages as well as reconstruct the missing passages. <clears throat> and when you see the Bible here, it is open to the page where some of that reconstruction took place. The Bible in 1957, after many years coming through uh, Lothrop family members, was donated to Sturgis Library, and we have it here in a beautiful climate-controlled glass case in the Lothrop Room. We have here John Lothrop and Barnstable, which is Sturgis Library's history of John Lothrop. We also have a children's version, which is wonderful for young people. Sometimes you just have to move across the ocean. This room that we are in is part of the 1644 home of John Lothrop, and it was his second home in Barnstable. In this very room, he lived, held worship services, and that today is why it is so significant. The floorboards are still the original floorboards, and we are very fortunate to be a part of Barnstable Village with all of the ensuing history. We are here at Sacrament Rock. And this is a location on 6A. Actually, it's directly across from the entrance to the Barnstable West Barnstable Elementary School. And the rock represents the location and the plaque that you see here commemorates the October 1639 first communion service that was held by John Lothrop and his followers after they arrived in Barnstable. It's very significant because it is the site of the first service, the first communion, and the vessels that were used were the pewter ware and communion set that had been brought to Barnstable by John Lothrop on the Griffin. And also, these are the vessels that are still in use today that have been around since the 1600s in England, brought to the New World, and now are a part of the West Parish of Barnstable Church. Welcome to the West Parish of Barnstable Meeting House. It is one of the finest examples of colonial architecture in New England. It served as a church, a meeting house, and even a school for a number of years in the colonial period. The structure we are in is, uh, existed in 1717, and that is when the plans were developed. And in 1719, the first service was held in this church. It was constructed after it was decided that the community of Barnstable had grown sufficiently large that the community was divided into East Parish and West Parish. West Parish is what we are in now, and it was constructed on land that belonged to the Crocker family. The East Parish is what is today on Cobb Hill, 
the Unitarian Church. The Meeting House as you see it today has been beautifully redone beginning in the 1950s, even though the plans were long before that. Elizabeth Crocker Jenkins is the lady who's credited with the restoration of the 1717 Meeting House as you see it today. The community in the 19th century actually had changed the original structure and really did it in the neoclassical style and made a number of changes. It was not until the 1950s that it was actually restored back to the way it was in 1717. So what you will see here are the sheep's pens going all around as well as some sheep's pens upstairs. You will see the high pulpit and on Sunday you will see a cross that is put up. The cross is only there when church services take place because the rest of the time this is a traditional meeting house. And during the colonial period, there was for a time school upstairs. Uh, Mercy Otis Warren, James Otis, and other people that are well known in the colonial period were actually students here. Likewise, as a meeting house, it was the site of the many town meetings, including the vote that was taken prior to the American Revolution uh, between Tories and Patriots when Barnstable chose to join the revolutionary cause. So what you have here is a building that is very, very historic, as well as one that meets the needs of the community. Now, it's also on the National Register of Historic Places. We have heat here in the winter. We have no air conditioning in the summer, and we have no water. We go across the teardrop and use the Jenkins Hall Fellowship Hall for serve other activities and for facilities. The uh, long line of 400 years worth of ministers is on a plaque in the tower room. And shortly we will go outside and the steeple will show the gilded uh, rooster as well as the Paul Revere bell. It is uh, significant that this building is celebrating 300 years in 2017, and actually the congregation will be 400 years old because it was founded in 1616 in London. And so what you have is an unbroken line of men, women, and children who belong to the congregational tradition who have been a part of this building. Many people in Barnstable refer to West Parish Church as the Rooster Church. And it is a name that has been with the church for years because the structure has the wonderful rooster which you see gracing the top. The rooster was ordered in 1723, came from England, and has been atop the steeple ever since that time. In 2008, it was regilded. And it is very significant because it is in many ways a symbol of West Parish of Barnstable. Also, you will notice just below the rooster is the Paul Revere Bell. And that was made by the Paul Revere Studio in 1806. And it was given to West Parish of Barnstable. Uh, it was dedicated to the father of both James Otis and Mercy Otis Warren. The bell itself is almost a thousand pounds and rests in a cradle that is, as in recent times, has, has had some problems and is now with the um, new grant that the foundation has received. One of the jobs that will be done is to repair and to strengthen the cradle for this historic bell. So these two items outside of the church are very important in the history of the ch church, in the history of the meeting house, and also very representative of Barnstable. Thank you. <laughs>